Hey, hey, hey. Remember when I said I'd avoid cabin fever last episode? Yeah, I lied. Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. Yeah, I've got cabin fever, but it's okay. It's all right. I'm all right with the fact that I have cabin fever. I'm at peace with it. I don't have any qualms about it. And I can put coal on my fire already. That's extraordinary. Um, so we're actually warming up at this point by this here fire. I'm hoping I can put a bearskin bedroll down here-ish, but it doesn't... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I saw green. I saw green. There you are. Come back to me. There you are. Perfect. So we can actually rest here and be in good shape. Yay. So uh, it's really freaking cold. But we have a really hot fire right next to us, and we can recover condition that way. So what I'm going to do, let's take a look at our food situation. I'm probably just going to go grab a bear steak. Uh, the risk of intestinal parasites is not reassuring. Do I eat the MRE? Do I go for a higher risk of intestinal parasites? Oh, decisions. Decisions indeed. I think I'm, I think I'm just going to go run and grab a bear steak really quickly. Uh, because it's they're so close, and, and that way I'll have all the calories I need. I can sleep for a bit, recover even more condition. Yeah, well, I'm just going to go do that. BRB. BRB, Legion. Well, you're coming with me, but you know what I mean. BRB barn? Make sure I'm not being charged by any wild animals. Can you bury meat cooked? No, I need a full bear steak. Thank you. Hey, look, it's like a beacon in the night. Yeah, let me not lose any more condition to the cold. Did you notice how fast that happened? Like, granted, it's because our, our coldness meter was really low, but... All right, so right now it feels like 52 degrees. If I add a bit more fuel... We've got six hours on this fire, and it's not going anywhere. So, yeah, if you could eat anything, go ahead and eat that, uh, that bear meat. I'm pushing my risk of intestinal parasites a little bit higher than I like to push it. And I'm really hoping that doesn't bite me in the ass. But I'm going to just... I'm going to roll with it. There's that sound again. What is that? What is that noise? There's more ambient audio and there are things that go bump in the night now and it freaks me out. Oh, I'm not used to that. Okay, so. Uh, all right, sleep for 10 hours. We're not going to get 10 hours of sleep, but... Did I drink? Yeah, I did. Okay. And how, how's my warmth? It was like 55... I'm okay, right? Yeah, I'm okay. Especially if the blizzard goes away, I'm definitely okay. Go sleep or 10. Watch me die in the middle of the night for some stupid reason. Hey, my risk of intestinal parasite. Wait, hypothermia risk? What? What? The wind... The wind must have changed direction and blew my fire out. I lost... Con oh, you freaking kidding me! Alright, so it wasn't a safe location. Maybe I should have put it over here. The wind must have come in. How did that happen? How is that even possible? That makes me mad. That's not... Hmm. Okay. I won't complain. It is what it is. It's, it's the game we all play. We're all subject to the same rules. Standardized rule sets, etc., etc. All that condition recovered for nothing. Let's keep going. I avoided cabin fever. Um, actually, I haven't avoided cabin fever. I still have it. It's a goddamn freezing. Man, that, that really makes me mad. Because now I'm losing condition again. Yeah, like, I'm gonna... I, I can't really go anywhere. Like, if, if I want to survive, I've got to stay here. Oh, I'm so mad. So this lost its protected from the wind status at some point. Yeah. I, I don't... I don't know how. But maybe if I can get a fire... going right here. <sighs> okay. Um... I have one accelerant. I'm going to use it. Can't remember if I put all my coal on that or not. We don't actually have... No, I, I have more coal. Good. I don't have a ton of reclaimed wood. That was not what was supposed to happen. <laughs> Said every... <laughs> seasoned survivor at one point or another during their learning process. Oh, no. Man, that that was such a perfect situation before I took that nap. 
It was going to help me recover even more condition. I was going to be fine. And then something blew the fire out. Or maybe... It, no? Maybe, maybe the fire didn't go out. I slept for... Maybe because I slept for 10 hours... I wasn't expecting to sleep for 10. Maybe I was actually asleep for longer than I thought I would be. And that's what it was. Was that it? Maybe? Was it, was it that nothing blew the fire out, but I just slept for longer than I should have, assuming that the game would wake me up before that? Maybe that, maybe it was my mistake. Maybe that's what it was. I really, I set it for 10 just nonchalantly, not thinking that I would actually get 10 hours, knowing, you know, that I was actually fairly well rested. At least I thought I was. Okay. Could have just been a miscalculation on my part, but, um, but still, this fire's not quite hot enough. Is it me, or can we put coal on the fire sooner now? It seems like... I'm able to put coal on the fire much sooner. I hate to use up all the reclaimed wood that I got, but now we kind of have to, in the name of... Well, literally in the name of redundancy. You hear all those lovely wolves? Who's excited about that? Okay, well... I'm gonna let this fire warm me up for a second. I can pass some time for an hour, even. Hang on, let's, uh, let's drink some water. And I have to go find some birch bark. If I can, if there's some nearby, where would, where would there be birch bark? I'm trying to think. Could be on the other side of the farmstead, in the woods atop that hill, maybe, between the orchards. There's two large, well, there's three large orchards, if you count the ones that are separated by the road and the house. And so if you take the one that's, um, yeah, there's, there's, there's like a hill that's, that's blocked off by wood walls. Um, in a wooded area. There might be some birch bark up there, maybe, but there's not birch trees that I can pick up. So, all right, let's, um, let's pass the time. And now I'm thinking it was, I'll have to go back and watch the video, but now I'm just thinking it was a miscalculation on my part. I shouldn't have slept for 10 hours. I should, should have slept for six. So it might have just been, been my bad. So let's pass the time. Escape. Now we're definitely warm enough. Um, seems like it's pretty windy, but I'm going to take a torch. There's that sound again. Okay, yeah. Tor torch got blown out almost immediately. And it's really cold. Bloody hell, man. This is... This is no bueno. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... There's wolves out that way. I need to do a couple of things, really. I need to kind of look for sticks as I go. This is suddenly not looking so great. Like, that one miscalculation really set me back. It's not necessarily the end of the line, but it just pushed us a lot closer to it because now we're kind of stuck. We've got cabin fever. We can't go inside to rest. We have to stay outside. We have to keep a fire going. We can go inside. I mean, again, we can game the system a little bit by breaking down stuff while indoors. And we will recover condition that way. But unfortunately, that will not help our cabin fever go away. And of course, the wind is blowing in my face right now, if you haven't noticed. Okay. I don't think there'll be birch bark up here. Because there's, there are no birch trees. But there could be wood. And if I can move quickly enough, that might be worth it. Yeah, I see... A stick. That's a very helpful game. Thank you. Another stick. Really need birch bark, but... And I don't have any already, do I? No, I don't. Of course I don't. I know. I've got a fire going, if you remember, Jennifer. If you remember that whole thing we started back at the barn... You can warm up by that in a second. But first, I need you to pick up sticks. Damn it! I don't have time! Okay, here's... Alright, good. I don't want to pick up the branches, because... It's wasting more precious seconds than I have. Alright, back we go. Yeah, this sucks. I'm not a fan. I'm sure there's going to be a lively debate in the comment section over whether or not... Well, it might not be a debate. It might be pretty clear whether it was my mistake 
to rest as long as I did or whether the fire got blown out. I don't... I really am thinking at this point it was a miscalculation that I shouldn't have slept for that long. But not being able to go back and look, I'm not sure. But you guys know. You already know. The battle lines have been drawn. I don't know why I'm walking this way. I really don't. That's a wolf right there, in case you were wondering. Now the good news is the fire we have going right now is really hot. It is theoretically blocked from the wind, so I could go inside and break some stuff down while the fire's going and potentially still be okay. It's not like I can't go inside. Again, it's just I, I have to manage the cabin fever situation right now. So what I'm gonna do is go back and take a quick look at the fire to make sure to kind of verify how much time I have left on it. Assuming it will remain protected from the wind. So in that sense, I am assuming that it truly was my mistake. All right, six hours left, good. So I'm assuming that it truly was my mistake and nothing blew the fire out. It was just out for an hour or two while I was sleeping. Okay. We're indoors. I can actually step outside and grab a bear steak really quickly, so I'm going to do that. I hate this place. I hate it. Why did I think that a few pretty updates would make me feel differently about this zone? I despise this zone. Relax, Jennifer. All right, so we got six hours. Well, five hours and change now. So let's eat, first of all, these bear steaks. Break this up, we get six reclaimed wood for two hours and 38 minutes of work. Really? That long? Dear God. It's just not necessary. 45 minutes for three reclaimed wood. That's a little bit better. I'll take that. Yep, 38 minutes there. I'll take that. An hour for four. Uh, I'd rather find more crates to break down at that rate. Part of me always hates to break down all the wood inside here because it kind of takes away from the feeling of the place, you know? My hatchet is also getting to a point where I'm going to have to keep a very close eye on its condition, but that's okay. I'm alright with that. Shelf, two hours. Okay. Chair, hour, 36 minutes. That's, that's not worth it. Not worth it. Look at cabinets. I could always go downstairs and get some more wood there. Let's uh, yeah, let's step into the basement and see what can be broken down here. So this is 45 minutes. Ooh, for six. Yes, please. And that's going to be about all the time I'm willing to attempt without double checking the fire. Oh good, I still see the firelight. Goody goody gumdrop. <laughs> Let's step over here. How much time do I have left? Two hours, 11 minutes? Good. Add fuel. I'm gonna save my last piece of coal. There's really no need to put more wood on the fire. That's, that's a, that is a warm fire. So one thing I will do is go ahead and Plop some of these suckers down. And now we really do. We've got to stay outside and just nurse this thing for a while. Let's see. Where am I going to put this thing down? Oh, 
really ideally like to have my bed roll like in the fire. Yeah. Perfect. All right, I'm happy with that. That's if I stand here, it says I'm protected from the wind. I'm assuming in most cases that will be true. Um, it's kind of dodgy, but don't really have a choice at this rate. Now I want to go ahead and put some water on. Now I'm currently at maximal, at maximum warmth from this fire, which is nice. So I can't wander away and stay away for long. But I want to look for additional wood. How, how's my carrying capacity? It's actually not good. So let's... I'm going to pick this all back up later. Let's drop all that for now, including the coal. That's disconcerting. I'm going to step up here because I do want to look for... Yeah, I don't think there's any birch trees nearby, so birch bark is not likely. But there are sticks, thanks to recent storms. It's not as cold as it has been right now. And this fire is hot enough to protect us even from a blizzard. So... As long as the wind doesn't blow into that enclosure, we'll be okay. Mm, I guess I could break these down. This one's floating. <laughs> oh yeah, I can break those down. That's three sticks each. Did I just see an affliction pop up? Okay, my risk of intestinal parasites is down to 1%. Feels like three degrees. Yeah, I know, it's cold. Yeah, it's really cold. Now, ironically, if we had not lost all that condition unexpectedly, I think I'd be able to get to an area pretty quickly where I could find lots of birch bark and make birch bark tea. This has definitely taught me my lesson pretty handily, you know, to start picking that stuff up now that we have the option of making it. I'm not in the habit because it's a newer mechanic, and you guys know me and my old tricks. Or I guess you could say me and my new tricks. I don't do well with them. Because I am increasingly an old dog. But... It feels like two degrees, and we are about to become hypothermic again, or hypothermic risk, so... Let's, uh... Let's go full sprint. lose any more condition if I can help it. That fire will stay going for a while, and we're just going to have to, again, nurse it, keep it alive, hope that the wind doesn't blow it out. I'm actually less concerned about the wind blowing the fire out at this point, given its position, that it's on the other side from the one that I started the first time. I don't think that was the issue. I do think it was a miscalculation on my part. I'm assuming that. But what I'm concerned about is... The oh nice. Let's go ahead and take the water. Perfect timing. Came back with not too much time to spare. All right. So now, how much water do I have? Good. That's a fair amount considering how long I'm likely to spend out here. So let's go ahead and eat this bear meat. Four percent risk of intestinal parasites. Let's drink this water. Yeah, I'm less concerned about that than I am just finding myself in the path of the wind myself. But I think the fire is hot enough to where even if that happened, I might be okay. Uh, especially with the warmth bonus from the bear skin bedroll. So, um, because it's a pretty substantial warmth bonus. So, one thing I could do is I could put more wood on the fire. I'm going to have to anyway to keep it going. So, let's pick all this stuff back up. Three hours, eight minutes. 
Add fuel, reclaimed wood. Uh, I've got lots of sticks. It's the the reclaimed wood is my more precious resource at the moment, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to go all the way down to five. Right, we've got six hours now, and six hours rest. I could probably pull off more than six hours rest with that much. Mm. Yeah, I could pull off about nine hours rest, I would imagine, with my current level of exhaustion. So, if I'm doing that math correctly, because I, I think when you sleep for 12 hours, that gets you the full recovery back. So right now I need about nine. Am I good on food? I am. But I'm, I'm not going to sleep for... I mean, I guess I could. Hang on. I'm not going to put the coal on there. Now it's literally nine hours. And because this is an outdoor fire, it should last that amount of time unless they've changed that. So if I sleep for nine hours, the question is, will I die? Are, I mean, are we willing to risk that? It's a really hot fire. It'll protect me. I'll sleep for eight just to be, I guess, one hour on the safer side. As long as you hear that crackle in the background, we're safe. Oh, cabin fever healed too. Nice. Okay. We still have cabin fever risk. It's going down slowly. We are still well fed. I'm feeling a little bit more optimistic now. We're almost fully rested, so I can't justify sleeping much longer. And there's still five hours on the campfire, so the campfire is working properly this time. Let's go ahead and sleep for three. We're not going to get three hours sleep, but just to regain a little bit more condition and pass a little bit more time. Yeah, now it's not long at all before the dawn. And cabin fever risk is about half. We're going to stay outside as much as possible. We're going to stay by this fire. All right, so those wolves are making their presence known. Part of it wants to go inside and break some more stuff down. But our cabin fever risk, I, I don't want to bring cabin fever back right now. So we're going to have to avoid that and instead maybe just go uh, looking for sticks along the river like we just did. So I guess we'll do that one more time. This time, though, I'm going to... Hang on. Let's drop all the wood again. I'm going to pick up the bearskin bedroll, have it with me in case any wolves come toward me. That'll be handy. And then I'm going to take a torch from the fire. It seems like it's decently... Yeah, it's really cold right now. But it's better than it has been. Really pretty at the moment, actually. Got a lot of moonlight. Got some owls making making themselves known. Oh, there's a new stick that I didn't notice before. Are there a few more? Maybe? Let me stay on this side and see if I find more. There could be sticks over here, too. There might also be things I can break down in the new barn outside that might be worth doing because we're walking right towards it. If you remember in episode 41, we took a look. No, not 41. Was it? Is it 43? Yeah, 43. Sorry. 43. That was the first new Pleasant Valley episode. Few more sticks. Can't can't stay out here forever, but if I can justify breaking down even just a few. Hey bunny. Even just a few wooden items inside the barn here. Can't go through that door, but you can go through this one. Shelf. 
I'm more interested in crates. There is a fire barrel in here, but again, we can't be indoors at the moment, so... Oh, bother. Okay, well... Never mind. Never mind. Okay, well... Um... Having checked out this area... And established some level of confidence... That we're not getting any more wood... I am going to... Sprint back towards my fire. I wish there was a deer in the area. I would totally shoot a deer right now and go for that. But we're going to go back towards the fire before we lose more condition. Because we're getting to the point where we have hypothermia risk. Our cabin fever risk is still going down. And we're going to keep resting, regaining condition for a few moments longer. Um, I, I, I won't have to spend the entire next episode doing that. The next episode is going to be more of a full recovery. Oh, hypothermia risk set in. That was really fast. I didn't think that was going to happen, but it's just, it just goes to show how freaking hot or freaking cold it is outside right now. Okay, so let's uh, extinguish that torch. Yeah, I'm going to stop this one here, and the next one, like I said, we're going to spend some more time recovering, but um, we've gotten out of the cabin fever woods, thankfully, and now we're just trying to reduce the risk. We still have meat on the porch, although that supply is dwindling, so part of me is really starting to get determined to get out of here. Like, like I've, I've got to get up to, like... Timberwolf Mountain, get to another area of the zone. It's just so cold right now. Like, any time I spend outside, I'm automatically dying, even though I'm wearing two expedition parkas, which is just crazy. I definitely, um, with that in mind, the next time I do, like, if there's an Against All Odds Season 6, which I'm, maybe, maybe there will be, um, I'm always going to play Long Dark on the channel, but, like, how many times we can do the long-form series remains to be seen. But if I revise my custom settings, which I most likely will, regardless of whether they're called against all odds 6 or not, I will most certainly reduce the degradation of the world temperature. Because as interesting as it is in this current series, ultimately I find it very, it's slightly immersion breaking to have on two expedition parkas, two, and be losing condition when we're walking around outside because it's negative 20 in Pleasant Valley. I know it's Pleasant Valley, there's a reason we hate the zone, even with all the new changes, but still. You know, that's just something that's kind of bouncing around in my head right now. So we'll think about it more, and you guys can comment on what you what your thoughts are, of course, in the comment section. But for now, I'll stop this one here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.